Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, we are officially in September, which means the weather is soon enough going to start to change for most of us. In fact, for some of you, it may have already begun to change. For example, here where we are, the temperature is around about an even 20 to 23 max degrees, but there's definitely been a change in cooler air. I can feel it already, so that's already starting to influence my dressing habits. So I'm starting to find that I'm reaching for those transitional items that I can mix in with my summer wardrobe, because it's not quite cool enough to do the big wardrobe switch over just yet. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk through the five pieces which I personally think are the most useful for using during these transitional periods between the seasons. So it could be like now, for example, when we're moving from summer into autumn, but it could also be for the similar kind of climate when you're moving from winter to spring. Okay, so starting off with my first item, which is a striped jumper or striped knitwear. It doesn't necessarily have to be a jumper, it could be a cardigan, but something of a knitted variety with stripes. Now I am a big lover, I've spoken about striped knitwear many, many times before, so those of you who are regulars will know that this is a favorite kind of core piece within my wardrobe. And I'd be lying if I said I had just one striped jumper. I don't, I have somewhat of a collection now because I am such a lover of stripes. And it's one of those pieces which is not limiting at all. Stripes are not like associated with a certain season. They're not associated with a festive time of year. So they're not something which is gonna limit any of your outfits. And in fact, I would say that I wear stripes all year round, regardless of what they are. It could be a t-shirt, it could be knitwear, it could be something else, a jacket or a coat. Whatever form of stripes, I think they are suitable for the entire year. Moving on to item number two, which is a lightweight trench coat. Now, I actually keep a couple of my lightweight trench coats out in my wardrobe, even through summer. This year's summer has not been a very good example of when I've been able to wear them because I haven't, because it has been freakishly hot for the UK this year, but any other given year, I probably would have whipped out a lightweight trench coat at some point if we'd have had some of those slightly moodier days, slightly cooler days, especially in June time, we would normally have got days where we might have had a little bit of rain or some slightly cooler temperatures of about 20 degrees, potentially with a bit of wind as well. So that's when something like this would have come really in handy and also again for transitional times of year like now. And the beauty of a trench coat is that you can literally just add it on as that one additional piece to any sort of outfit that you could have potentially worn in summer. So it could have been a basic vest or a basic t-shirt with either some tailored trousers and a pair of trainers or sandals or a pair of jeans, like literally anything, or even a pair of shorts if you still wanna get your legs out. It's one of those items which you can literally just add on to an outfit. You don't really need to change anything else. And yet there you have it. It gives you a more transitional look because it adds in just a light layer that you might need for a bit of warmth, but also a trench coat does kind of give you those autumny, springy vibes. Moving on to my third item, and it is a neutral pair of jeans in whatever shape or cut you desire. 
but for me personally, it would be something in a very neutral kind of tone, like an ecru or an off-white. I wouldn't particularly go for something stark bright white because there's something about that color on a pair of jeans that I just, I'm not a big fan of. I find it, and I try and use this word carefully, but I do find it a little bit tacky sometimes, depending on how it's styled. If it's styled well, they can look great, but that's why I prefer something just slightly tipped over the white scale, something in more like an ecru. Now, I know that this color of denim might not be the most practical if perhaps you are a spiller, if you have young children with sticky fingers, or if you have black pets that shed hair, all of the above make these not the most practical option, but I love this color of denim specifically, whilst they work for other seasons, I will even keep these out for the winter season as well, but I specifically love them for the transitional times of year. This off-white neutral color keeps looks fresh and not too gloomy before we head into winter, but equally as well as black, it's just as versatile and works with so many different looks. On to my fourth item which is a blazer and for those of you who are either long-term followers or you are just regulars here to my channel then you would know that I could not possibly not talk about a blazer when it comes to transitional dressing or actually when it comes to any kind of dressing because I think the blazer is synonymous with me and I with the blazer we are we are one. <laughs> Regardless of how much my style has evolved since starting my blog all the way back in 2007, a blazer has been the one constant of my style. And it's the thing which I think the majority of you will probably know me best for, which is why I created a blazer with the curated, hashtag ad. Um, because it's one of those items which my wardrobe would pretty much be lost without. And it's one of those pieces which is definitely a must have when it comes to transitional dressing in a similar way or in the exact same way as the trench. It's just one of those pieces which you can add on to an already existing outfit that perhaps you've already worn through the summer months or to just a really basic jeans t-shirt. Could be jeans, t-shirt, blazer, loafers, jeans, t-shirt or vest, blazer, sandals, trainers, boots, like literally anything. Add tailored trousers, add a lightweight knit underneath, add another piece of tailoring like a button-up shirt underneath. It just goes with pretty much any outfit, even with a pair of jeans if you wanna sort of, I know I keep using this term and it is a little bit cringy, but if you wanna elevate a look, it's always a good way to add in a piece of tailoring and a blazer is always a very good item to do that with. Finally, my fifth item is just an oversized jumper or sweater. Now it's up to you what kind of style you would feel most comfortable with, whether it be a crew neck or whether it be something more with a funnel neck or a roll neck. And again, it could be any kind of fabric. So if you are someone that heats up perhaps a little bit quicker. Maybe you don't wanna go for something cashmere like the one that I have here. You might wanna go for something in more of a cotton fabric. You might wanna whip that out of your wardrobe and get that out into your transitional outfits. For me, I am already wearing my cashmere. Granted, not today, because it is, 
it's a bit warm today, but I have been wearing my cashmere over the last, I would say, week or two. And even in summer, I will often find that I'm reaching for some of my knitwear, some slightly, I mean, I say this is light, but some slightly not as chunky knits as what I do have in cooler mornings or cooler evenings, or as I've said, if we're going out and we're going somewhere with air conditioning like the cinema. So I do get a lot of use out of my knitwear all year round. But one of my favorite times, in fact, not one of, my absolute favorite time, and I had a discussion about this over on Instagram the other day, my favorite time of year to get dressed is this transitional period and sort of the early days of autumn where it's still quite mild because that is known as hashtag sweater weather and that is my favorite temperature. Oh, I just love it, it's cozy, there's that sort of smell of autumn in the air. It's just my absolute favorite time of year for getting dressed. So that is why the oversized knit is coming in at number five. So there we go, those were the five pieces that I personally think are the most useful items for using in your transitional outfits around this time of year. Now I have been getting a lot of requests for my autumn winter content. I think that's the kind of content that a lot of you guys really enjoy for me and I am digging the enthusiasm for that. However, I have not yet done my big autumn winter wardrobe switch over because I'm sort of trying to judge the weather. I don't wanna pack things away too early and then just be left with coats and knitwear. So I'm thinking I could sort of get through the next few weeks until potentially the end of September, early October with some of these transitional pieces that I've got and then I will do my usual wardrobe switch over. So as soon as you see that on my channel, that will be the official Kickstarter of my autumn winter content. So there we go. Thank you as always for watching and for tuning in today and I will see you next time.